Now let's talk about encryption. Encryption has great benefits for security and privacy. Even law enforcement agencies have been fascinated by the dual use nature of encryption. When it comes to protecting information and communications, encryption has many benefits for everyone, right? From, you know, from governments and military to corporations and individuals. Now, on the other hand, the same mechanisms can be used by the threat actors as a means of evasion and obfuscation. Even governments have historically tried to regulate the use and export of encryption technologies. A good example of this is the WASIN arrangement. It is a multinational agreement aimed at regulating the export of technologies such as encryption. Other examples include events involving law enforcement agencies such as the U.S. Federal Bureau of Investigation or FBI, which is trying to force vendors to leave certain investigative techniques in their software and devices. Another example of these is the alleged U.S. NSA or National Security Agency backdoor. In the dual elliptic curve deterministic random bit generator or dual ECDRBG that allows clear text extraction of any algorithm seeded by this pseudo random number generator. Now let's talk about the data visibility impact of encryption. Some people have come up with the idea of encrypting everything, right? However, encrypting everything would have very serious consequences, not only for law enforcement agencies, but also for incident response professionals. Something to remember about the concept of encrypt everything is that deploying end-to-end -end encryption is difficult and can leave unencrypted data at risk of attack. Many security products, including next-generation IPS and next-generation firewalls, can intercept, decrypt, inspect, and re-encrypt, or even ignore encrypted traffic payloads. Some people consider this to be MITM or a man-in-the-middle issue and have a lot of privacy concerns. On the other hand, you can still use network traffic, metadata, and other security event sources to investigate and resolve security issues. You can get a lot of good information by leveraging NetFlow, firewall logs, web proxy logs, user authentication information, and even passive DNS data. In some cases, the combination of these logs may render the encrypted content of malware payloads and other traffic irrelevant. Of course, this is as long as you can detect their patterns of traffic in order to be able to correct an incident. It is a fact that uh, you need to deal with encrypted data, but in transit or at rest on an endpoint or server. If you deploy web proxies, you need to assess the feasibility in your environment of MITM secure HTTP connections. It is important to recognize that from a security monitoring perspective, it's technically possible to monitor some encrypted communications. However, from a policy perspective, it's an especially different task depending on your geographical location and local laws around privacy.